but it's the same formation, this 3-4-3 setup. Yeah, it certainly is, and you like the setup. It, it really takes some good... And that's Freddie Kleeman, but that's in a very experienced back line. Yeah, it certainly is, and same formation. Throughout the month of March, the USL will be kicking off across the country, and join us for all the action on ESPN and CBS platforms as the Rowdies get us going here in Cary. Three chances for Oleg Sanderson. Got to feel that one is coming soon as Perez delivers the corner. Headed by Craig. Controlled by Malou. Morton tips. And Jordan Farr gets the save. Good dummy by Anderson. Cleared away by Guillen. And that is the first half. North Carolina has had several chances in the final third. Oleg Sanderson, three of them to be specific. To Zart. Crisostomo. Looking towards Jennings on the wide, in that wide area. Throw in and a quick outlet to Anderson. Tampa Bay fell asleep. Oleg Sanderson cuts it in the middle to Perez. Touches to DaCosta. Best chance of the night. Can't neglect his aerial prowess as Hilton. It falls to the near post. And it's going to be an own goal. An unfortunate kick by Mikey Maldonado. Tampa Bay will not care. The visitors are 1-0 to the good. The boys in blue look to get an equalizer. Heavy touch, though, by Craig. Tampa Bay looking to punish. Arteaga to Jennings and McGuire. Bodies it away for a corner kick. Bars pass intercepted by Martin. Perez, looking to try to cross with his left foot, instead slips it to Maldonado, Armstrong, and Farr gets the save. Armstrong, up against Desart, back to Perez. Perez, good low ball, it finds Rafa, and we are tied at one, Rafa! In the right place at the right time, and we are level. Well, you mentioned 13 goals last year, and you weren't going to keep them up. In this second half, does North Carolina have one last chance? They were looking towards McLaughlin, and that is full time. The best performance for John Bradford's side as Rafa's equalizer.